Long ago, a terrible flood ravaged the earth, and all of humanity was laid to waste. Except a handful of the Cherokee who built a great canoe to endure the rising waters. After sailing the sea for a long time, their boat crashed on a small island crowded with trees. But with no game to hunt and no clear land to till, the people began to starve. They cried out to the great spirit, Unatlanahi, for food to eat. In an act of kindness, the great spirit killed all the trees on the island to give the Cherokee level ground to work the earth. They lived off the crops until the water subsided and the land could be walked upon again. This is the legend of the Brass Town Bald, which stands at a proud 4,784 feet in North Georgia. It is the mountain I am climbing today, but unlike the other episodes in the Appalachian Adventure, I'll be braving this one alone. Just where my hiking sticks are partially in French. Thank you very much. Going up? Yep, Jackson Up Trail. All right, so it looks like we are at the Brasstown Bald in Georgia. It is the highest peak. This is gonna be the fourth hike I've done on my vacation. This time I'm doing it all alone. We're hiking the Jack's Knob Trail, 4.5 miles, moderate. This Blue Blaze Trail begins with a short climb from the Brass Town Ball parking lot and descends 1,500 feet through a series of switchbacks that cover 2.3 miles. It crosses Georgia's 180 in Jack's Gap, then climbs 2.2 miles to the Appalachian Trail at the Chattahoochee Gap. Approximately 0.2 miles south of Jack's Gap, the trail enters Mark Trail Wilderness. It's gonna be a little chilly up here. My backpack is exceptionally heavy today. Probably because I'm carrying a gallon of water along with food, my batteries, my flashlight, everything. <sighs> I heard there's a lot of steps on this trail. Whew. Yep. Off of my YouTube channel. Why am I already tired? That's not good. It's already starting to feel a little cooler up here. Some very beautiful ridges around here, just through the foliage of the trees. Drank a sizable portion of my water. It's not good. The only other fluids I have is a Starbucks energy drink. Of course I have seven cliff bars, but they're small ones. I'm wondering if I bought enough for this trip. It doesn't help that I have a cold right now. I can't wear this jacket anymore. It's much easier though, I think, without the jacket. A lot less leaves on the trees as we go up further. Oh, we got a bonfire. I do have a lighter if I really wanted to cook up some roasted cliff bars. We have some sort of footpath here. I don't know where it goes or if it goes anywhere. That is a steep fall, but a beautiful view. Wow. Okay, there it is. I don't know if you can see it, but the observation deck is right over there. But we gotta go down this uh, little valley here and onto that peak.
So well, I think I'm actually gonna try to find a place to hide my jacket. Obviously it's not littering if I just pick it up again at some other point. I think I'm gonna hide under this bush here. I don't feel like I'm gonna need it when I'm at the top. All right, I will pick you up again. I will remember that. Okay. What a nice view. Do not climb or play on fence. Ah, oh, that's a disappointment. <laughs> God, I love climbing fences. All right, not much longer to the top. This sounds like a wussy move, but I'm probably gonna take the road down. I, I personally don't really care about how I descend down the mountain. I don't really record that. Ascending, sometimes I take a trail. Other times I drive. It just depends on what I feel like doing that day. To me, it just doesn't matter as long as I get to the top. All right, I think the trail's this way. Seems like a much more populated area. Memorial to Judge T.S. Candler, Georgia Supreme Court in recognition of his dedicated service to the citizens of Georgia and the nation. His cooperative efforts have made possible the construction of this Forest Service Visitor Center. Dedicated June 1971. I uh, appreciate you, Judge Candler, but this is a really ugly monument. Please stay on trail. Hope I don't have to use the bathroom soon. I'm on top theater. I can watch a movie? I don't think anyone's here. Even the Pepsi machine is closed, damn. I could walk around this building at least. Caution, stairs and deck slippery. Oh my gosh, this thing is soaked. I don't know if I can, whoa, whoa. Yeah, this thing's too wet, I don't know if I can climb this. down there. That's pretty sad. Got kicked out of their own territory. And the parking lot seems pretty far away. Jeez, those are some big fires. See these two giant fires over there. I think those are forest fires. I mean, maybe it's not a forest fire. I don't know, it could be a controlled burn. There's another one down over there. We've actually seen a lot of uh, fires on this trip. It's kind of strange. So many carvings carved in here through the wood. Most of it's illegible. This is the brass sound ball to everybody. Highest peak in Georgia. Got four peaks down, two more to go. Thanks for coming on this adventure with me. Jeez. In 1828, gold had been discovered in the North Mountains of Georgia, and a massive gold rush would follow. In 1830, President Andrew Jackson signed the Indian Removal Act, paving way for the forcible exodus of the Cherokee from their lands. The Cherokee were relocated to the Oklahoma Territory. An estimated 4,000 people lost their lives in a treacherous voyage. This is now known as the Trail of Tears. However, the Brasstown Ball, or as the Cherokee call it, Anotop, still stands today, tall and proud.